The Deutsche Bank saga continues. This time with yet another suspicious high-level bank executive suicide. His name is Thomas Bowers. He was a former Deutsche Bank executive and head of the bank's U.S. Private Wealth Management Division, which is the group catering to ultra-wealthy clients like Donald Trump. He killed himself last Tuesday, November 19, by hanging in his Malibu, California residence, he was 55 years old. So hanging is the preferred method of suicide by bankers. Or perhaps it's the preferred method of some outside group suiciding the bankers. Hanging one's self seems to be the most painful and suffering way to do one's self in. On the other hand, a good way to leave little evidence if it is done by nefarious people and means. Hanging suicides is the preferred method of assassination cover-ups. I can think of more peaceful deaths. These wealthy bankers would have easy access to medications or pistols that would do the job without the suffering. So I just don't buy this. It is essential to remind that no other bank had more high-profile suicides than Deutsche Bank. But what is most noteworthy is that according to a March 2019 report, Thomas Bowers was boss to Trump's personal banker Rosemary Verablik, who, according to the New York Times report, helped steer more than $300 million in loans to Donald Trump in the years before he was elected president. Here is where the rabbit hole gets deeper, according to forensic news journalist Scott Stedman. One source who has direct knowledge of the FBI's investigation into Deutsche Bank said that federal investigators have asked about Bowers and what documents he might have. Stedman also said that another source who has knowledge of Deutsche Bank's internal structure said that Bowers would have been the gatekeeper for financial documents for the bank's wealthiest customers, Donald Trump. If ever there is a conspiracy here, just remember how the deep state and DNC wanted this bank to release Trump's financials. Now Supreme Court ruled against such a thing. So the deep state probably went to release or we'll publish your child molesting videos. So, he suicided. Or maybe he had a moment of clarity and realized the destruction that bankers do to society and decided to do the morally right thing. Welcome to the Atlantis Report. So, being in the top management class at a big bank can be hazardous to your health, particularly if you know about dodgy operations that become the focus of bank regulators or the FBI or DOJ. And the public persona of these striped suits with silk ties is so squeaky clean, with their squads of fawning minions, top social connections and chauffeured limousines. Makes me wonder how much of big banking is laundering money. And how many of the laundry clients are psychopaths who treat the bankers as expendables if these clients think the banker might leak if charged, an object lesson to the other bankers. Old Chinese saying, kill the chicken to scare the monkey. And, popular saying in the West, dead men tell no tales. Deutsche Bank has provided many loans to Trump's businesses over the years, even at times when other banks would not work with the president, which has caused the bank's records and behavior to be of interest to Democrats conducting oversight. We the people need to know why notoriously ruble laundering Deutsche Bank loaned a lot of money to Trump when nobody else would. Why? A giant global bank gave billionaires loans. That's odd. We have a president who can't get loans from American banks but foreign banks a big yes after a co-signer is required. Banks who were busted for multi-billion dollar money laundering practices, in fact. It's called money in the bank for Russia, termed leverage. Not just any foreign bank, but one which is currently under investigation for money laundering, for Russian oligarchs. But that's all a coincidence, I'm sure. More and more, it appears that Donald brought the swamp with him. Every one of his associates, lawyers, personal friends, and soon family ends up getting pinched for something. Now, his particular head banker is deep sixed. Deutsche Bank said in a court filing that it has tax returns relevant to house Democrats' subpoenas for financial records of President Trump, his family and his businesses, but the bank didn't publicly identify whose returns it had. The name or names of the individuals or entities whose tax returns Deutsche Bank has were redacted in the version of the document posted on the federal court's public legal database. The bank also said in its letter to a federal appeals court in New York that it has tax returns related to parties not named in the subpoenas but who may constitute immediate family within the definition provided in the subpoenas. Deutsche Bank is so corrupt and has gotten away with illegal acts for decades. The US has been prosecuting Deutsche Bank for doing precisely what the American banks did, but they get off the hook. Better still, they get to launder drug profits. That's been the policy for 10 years. 
The man with the golden hair borrowed money at a rate of interest and on a contractual basis with collateral to justify the loans. Just maybe the loans amounted to gifts, granted via a middle hand, as they tend to get zero interest loans. Even back in the 70s and 80s. Thus not very ethical, or according to corporate governance. And once that data is opened up, how a bunch of exciting characters runs a sealed organization within the bank that hands out free money to friends. Sure, a few outsiders have been allowed in, but if they ever reveal the secret. Well, careers are over, if they survive the suiciding is carried out by the mafia. The main suspects can just go back to an offshore country and hide out there pedophiling 24-7. Then return later with new names. If one is deeply entrenched in big finance, you're, at the very least, a crook. If you're one of the few with a conscience along with a visceral fear of prison life then one day you'll have to look in the mirror and face who you are and what you've done. I don't blame them for killing themselves. It's the only reasonable option. Will Diamond or Blackfine ever reach that point? Not likely. The psychopath genes run too deep in them. Modern banksters and stock market speculators are quite similar, always taking chances with other people's money. When they fall, they fall hard. The river of money flowing from the Fed is only to flow in one direction, to the bankers, who now own and operate the United States of America and call all the political shots. President Woodrow Wilson, in later grave sorrow, warned us of the terrible consequences of putting his signature to the Federal Reserve Act of 1913, which literally turned the country over to the evil machinations of a diabolical cabal of a few powerful men working in secret to rule the world. Ownership of the world's medium of exchange for all goods and services saleable, money owned and produced and allocated in secret with no governmental oversight, ultimately ends in total control and ownership of all the world's commerce and industry, including its people, now known collectively as mere human resources. Maybe this suicide is Trump-related, maybe it's not. Who knows? There have been lots of suicides in 2014 to 2016 from the financial sector. You see, money doesn't buy happiness. Sad people die, divorce, murder, lie, steal, and commit all sorts of evil for this worthless paper. Lottery winners statistically become addicts, lose their friends, end in divorce, or, most commonly, suicide. CEOs are no exception. They are rich but evil as can be. Only an evil person puts profits before health or quality. CEOs of the food companies all know the food they produce is artificial garbage, not even bugs eat. As the good book says, for what shall it profit a man to gain the world, yet lose his soul? Bankers have no morals. If they did deals that failed, many have basically stolen from many. All the largest banks are corrupt. They are involved in gun running, human trafficking, wars, drugs, Wall Street fraud, etc. There is no end to their greed. Wealthy bankers got that way through manipulating, backstabbing, stealing, cheating, and lying. So, if on any given day a miserable loathsome wealthy banker decides to kill himself, then it seems all is right with the world. The sun rises. The tides go in, and the tides go out. Miserable bankers off themselves rather than face the sordid deeds that made them. No surprise. The main point, though, is if you think Trump is any cleaner than the Clintons or the Bushes, you are not living in reality. What's so odd is that big-name financial institutions rarely get hit with criminal charges. Punishments rarely go beyond fines. When jail time does come, it is a white-collar country club prison, and sentences are usually only so many years. With gains properly stashed beyond the reach of authorities or appropriate assurances from higher-ups to be taken care of later in exchange for keeping one's mouth shut, you would emerge from prison a little older, but not in too bad a shape. With all that consideration, why would all of these people decide to take the permanent way out? Are these guys killing themselves for fear of prison, or are they being murdered for knowing too much? Why not just disappear with your wealth to some jungle country instead? People at this level are all guilty of heinous crimes against humanity. They will not start raiding each other out, considering they likely know each other's crimes. If one goes down, they all go down. What they do, on the other hand, is kill people that they deem a threat. After Epstein now also Bowers. It seems like there is a pattern emerging. Trump hand side. The question to ask here is, who benefits from this suicide? And let's be honest, those who own Trump's debt, own Trump. And with Deutsche Bank being what it is, anything is possible. Trump is sweating bullets since this suicide. And why wouldn't he be?
Since it's not hard to figure out that something really shady must have gone on to convince Deutsche Bank to agree to be literally the only bank on the planet who would loan money to the bankruptcy king. No wonder he holds his tax returns tighter than Mike Pence's during executive time, naps. I can see it now, Russia Gate, Ukraine Gate, Deutsche Bank Gate, without missing a beat. Deutsche Bank is on the brink of insolvency. Expect more suicides, many more. The game owners hate failure. Wait for the Trump Twitter meltdown. Stay tuned, folks. This is huge. This was the Atlantis Report. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.